How often when you run simulation, you want to plot values into the custom chart without time, but just like custom X and Y axis. And that's not supported in Cameo Simulation Toolkit, but you are not limited to what are supported charts. You can actually add your own charts and we support Jide library and you can leverage that. Uh, here we have sample code for Jide library to plot actually those values. And then when you run the code in simulation as a groovy code, you see we have this plot uh, based on those uh, values properties coming from the block you can actually modify the code to run from array but like that was like brute force and you see it regenerates so still does not uh, close automatically the window or recreates but just like simply reusing the code capability and uh, where we take that code from here we can take a look uh, you know here we see this code is coming from uh, giant software libraries and if we go scroll down, you know, to the to the chart uh, download, uh, we will find uh, sample code here for the chart. Like for example, this code exactly is the copy of the code we used, which plots the values. Now, when you run this code, you saw that it is actually gray. It shows both models um, in black. You know, we want the colors. So we want to modify this code. So like we scroll down here, we see, okay, we have some style properties here. We can just copy those style properties and paste uh, to include the colors. So let's go here. Let's come to this model and let's add uh, new colors. So maybe it will work. Let's run. Okay, some errors. That's okay, because we want to actually, okay, we duplicate the model creation. So that's not good. That's for sure. And then this line is needed. It was before, but now the, not this one, you know, because it is now here, the same line with style options. <coughs> so now what we will do, we will uh, copy that code and check what actually is wrong with it but using chat gbt so i pasted the code and chat gbt tries to analyze the code but i don't want that analysis i just want to go to error and copy the error and ask for the help to solve this error And we see that actually color library is not used. Let's take that uh, color li library and we can actually stop it here. Take the color li library and just add it that class, actually not even library, but just single class here to the, <coughs> to the used code um, imports. And now let's rerun it. Okay, now we see the colors are here, right? So we have this style coming. We are creating style A and B, uh, blue and red, and then with some parameters which you can find in that PDF, and then we are using that. Now what we see, we want actually we create an instance of this block with the values outside of the zero and one ranges with minus two and so. So we want to expand the axis. So again, come back to the PDF here and here we see that axis we can expand here by using this part and you can scroll you will find more than than what I'm using here in this example I will just close those I will add those axis here and uh, again what I noticed that it's using different classes so I want actually to search for those uh, classes uh, numeric range for example and access uh, uh, classes to include into the include into the imports because that will again create that same problem and here i already have this access included that i, I see but uh, numeric uh, range i don't have it so i need to search how to search it uh, you pretty much go to the google you search Jai Java Docs uh, access chart or numeric numbers, uh, numeric uh, 
range charts and then you find the java docs then you search by the class here numeric range for example here you see control f and you find it here then you see all the parameters how it's used and then you can include the whole library or just the class if you're including the class exactly with that like this you can just go here and then like this and then enter uh, and then import so now it should work actually because i'm not only define the ranges from minus two to two but also define the um imports so let's run again okay works this is that based on the block now i will run the instance simulation run running the instance also works you see it's different you know different values but it works you can change the ranges like from uh, minus 2 to 10 and here from uh, minus 10 to 2 and then also we'll run this one simulation run run so here we have this uh, chart you see here and that's how simply we can use uh, new capabilities in simulation toolkit based on the JITA libraries. Please leverage and see how that will go.